Hi guys, welcome back to Lady Aquatica. Today I'll be going over the Versa. I have never used this product before, so this will be a learning curve for myself. I thought we would just go through it together. All right, so let's start by unboxing. So this is the single dose. It does come in four dose uh, heads as well. Um, this is a quick start guide. If you don't already have the Mobius, go to your app store and install it. You'll need it in order to um, program this device. It shows you how to install, troubleshoot, add the device, necessary information. Over here, we've got a template, two different templates. So I have the single head dose, so I would just probably use that one. And then you have the four head dose as well. Comes with some lube. Um, the lube, I don't know if I need to use it right now. I'll have to read the ingredients, but it's, it's for the inside here. It's a pretty large um, dosing head, pretty large. It's comparable, I would say, to the um, Neptune dose. Each single head is it's really large. Both of them can do continuous water uh, changes, so that's probably why they're this hefty. Smaller dosers, like the Kimura dosers, are not um, advised for continuous use or auto water changes. We have a little calibration file, graduated. Some screws for the mounting. Interesting. So um, it's universal, I guess, for the different um, countries. So it comes with different wall plugs. I don't remember that with my other Ecotech devices, but it comes with all these different wall plugs. So being in Canada, I will be using our standard one. And then this is the adapter. So I'll slide this in uh, like that. There we go. Hmm. Pretty interesting. Never seen this before in person. Let's see, where do I plug this in? Really? It's that difficult for me to figure out? Must go, oh, right there. When you have nails, sometimes it's hard. I find this very weird. Like it's plugged in on an angle. Is that normal? Okay. Okay, so now that we've finished with the unboxing, I'm going to go through my Mobius app and set it up. I'm just going to plug this device in so that it is detected by the Mobius app. There's two lights that have just appeared. I don't, you can probably see that now. There's a white one and a yellow one. You will of course need to connect um, you're in and out. So this should be the in and this should be the out. I will have to check, but that's usually how it is. So let's see. Oh, yeah. The diagram right here shows in and out, which is pretty standard. So I'm just going to go to my Mobius app and I will record my screen so that you can see the process of me installing this device. So you'll need to launch the Mobius app. Ensure that your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned on in order to connect to the Mobius app. As you can see here, it shows the devices that I have, two MP40s, one Radeon, and my goal is to get the um, second Radeon up and connected to this app. So you can go to the top 
right where you see the three dots and click add a device. Right now it's going to detect the device nearby. This one is already detected. So we're going to click on the Versa and click next at the top. We're going to do a firmware update. So as you can see here, you've got calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, trace elements, water change, and custom. The calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, I would set it up as I would set up any other doser. Obviously, um, these need to be calibrated, so don't miss that step. Trace elements, of course, this is super important to be calibrated. I haven't um, put any of my trace elements on dosers yet, but that is something that I'm thinking about in the future. Water change, I currently am using the Neptune dose for water change because it's got both left and right side. Um, it's, a, it's a dual head. Just um, one thing to point out, if you are looking to use the Ecotech Versa at, for a water change, you will require two. I'm going to be using the custom setting because of the fact that I am using it for dosing calc overnight. So daily dose, right now I'm dosing about 1500, uh, yeah, 1500 mils. Did that save? No, that did not save. Okay, so we're going to have to click this little um, arrow. Start time. I'm going to want it to dose at 12 a.m. Yeah. Where's the end date? End time. Okay, let's activate it. Okay, so what it says here is my daily volume will be 1.5 liters. It on the left there, it says zero ml dispensed today because I obviously haven't dosed anything yet. Container volume, that's going to need to be um, updated. So I'm going to need to tell it that I have, right now I have a five gallon container um, and that's about 17,000 milliliters. So I'll click the little arrow there. I do need to check the schedule because I don't think I did that properly. So right now it's from 12 until 1.15 a.m. I'm going to want to run it from 12 to 12. So I'm going to click the 2. It's 12, 0, 0, 0, 0. There we go. Interesting. So it's got hours, minutes, and seconds. So this little toggle here where it says catch up, this is very useful if you um, lose internet connection and it doesn't dose for a certain amount of time. Once it comes back online, it will dose the um, amount that it's lost. And we're gonna press save. So now it's gonna dose from midnight till noon, total of 1.5 liters in the day. And my container holds 17,000 milliliters, which is 17 liters. So it looks like you can pause it when you need to. You can um, advance. I'm curious as to what this is. Instant dose. Oh, okay. So if you want to do a manual dose, you would click this circle in the middle. You would tell, tell it you want to dose, let's say I would want to do a 50 mil dose, but I want to want to do it over five minutes. There we go. And then you would click dose and that would do a, a manual dose for you instead of the auto dose that you just set up. You can go to the little settings on the top right. You can name this Versa. Galk. Max dose. I mean, I'm dosing calc, so I'm not overly concerned, but we could do 2,000. Uh, max dose rate. Okay, so next we're going to connect the RODI to the left side, because that's the intake. Normally I use a little bit more flexible tubing, but I'm going to be using this RODI one. 
I'm gonna cut it about there. Let's see if it goes in properly. It's a pretty good cut. An exacto knife would be better than scissors, guys. All right. Um, so once you've cut it, or this is the calc over here, so I'm going to be putting it on the left one. You push it in, and then when you pull it out a little, you should be able to see a little gap there, and it's pretty snug now. That's looking pretty good right now. And then I'm going to do uh, a line from here up to my thumb. Make sure that's in there. Uh, it does look snug. Okay. And then we're just going to put this on the thumb. I like to put it in uh, this chamber right here, where you have very fast flow. Calc um, calcifies, and it requires uh, as much flow as possible. So this is where I'm gonna be adding it to. So to calibrate, we're gonna go to the settings in the top right. We're gonna click calibrate. One thing to keep in mind, it says, uh, be sure to prime the pump before calibrating. I'm not sure if there's a special method in priming it. All I'm going to do is I'm going to run um, one test, make sure that water is coming out of it. And then I'm going to run a second test because um, this way I'll know that the line is primed. Okay, so I have my, my line that goes out into my calibration vial. Okay, so I'm gonna do 50 mils because I know that I need to prime the lines. I'm not gonna actually be using this as a calibration. Right now, I'm just trying to prime. All right, so my lines are primed now. I'm just gonna run the calibration test all over again um, and actually input the number that it's, uh, that it's giving me. So we're gonna do 30 mils in one minute. start. All right, so now I'm going to look at what it actually dispensed. And it dispensed um, 24, 25, something like that. So I'm going to write 25. Because that's what it dispensed. We're going to click done. And if you want, you can run that one more time. Just to confirm that it actually is dispensing 30 in one minute. And click prime again, and that should now give you an accurate 30 milliliters. And we're gonna check the vial one more time. It dispensed 29 and a half, 30 pretty much. So I'm gonna click done because that's how much it dispensed. So we're good. And that is everything, guys. You're calibrated and you're ready to roll. As part of our custom, tequila's having a guest appearance. You're leaving? She's, she left. All right, guys, see you next time.